Hello, YouTube. Since I'm not buying any bags at the moment, I thought I would just share something from my collection. This is the Dooney and Burke Essex bag. This is a vintage bag. I got it either in 2020 or 2021, um, and I purchased it locally. I got it for like 40 or $45, and this is the bone color because it's not a stark white and it's in really good condition. So um, Dooney and Burke was one of my first loves as far as it comes to handbags. And I don't have very many Dooney's left in my collection, but um, I think I have three, but I have sold or gifted some of my bags to relatives. And, um, but when, this is one of the ones that I will probably hang on to just because I really like vintage bags a lot. So I'll just give you a quick overview of the bag. Um, it has a button in the back and a slip pocket. So I don't really store anything in there. I like to keep the button closed. And so, um, whoops. I'm filming this myself, as you can tell, so sorry about that. This is the little um, duck hang tag that comes with the old bags. I think um, the newer bags do have some kind of charm, but not this duck anymore. And then this is the other side of the bag. Just looks the same, and it has like I suppose you could undo this button and on both sides and attach a different type of strap if you wanted to. It's a crossbody strap. Um, one of the markers of the old Doonies is that here it says, I don't know if you can make that out, it says brass, solid brass on the back of the buckle there. It's really in beautiful condition, as you can see. I'll just show you the inside really quickly. So you slip this little tongue through the brass part right there, and it says all weather leather. The interior is the raw suede. Look at the opposite side of the bag. And this is what fits. Um, I'll just show you real quickly, just my readers, um, and more would fit in here as well. You can see that there is some space, but I'm not carrying much today. And a pack of gum, and this is the, uh, pochette that I have that goes with my Bucket GM. It is larger than the mini pochette, but smaller than the pochette accessoire. It's a great size. I pretty much use that as a catch-all in all of my bags. Um, and sometimes I even use it by itself because I have a little chain strap that I can use it as a wristlet. And I also have a leather strap that I can attach. So here's my little Kate Spade. Um, and I just have like my headphones in there. And so this is just the little organization that it offers. So that is pretty much the whole of the bag. I'll just show you the condition a little further. There is a little rubbing on the piping, but it's nothing terrible. But that's probably most of the wear right there. And then just a little bit of rubbing there. There you go, that's a better shot there. Oh, and it comes with six feet on the bottom. So I just think that this is still really a pretty bag. And as you can see, the quality was great back then and it has held up. So, there's an up close of the little Dooney duck there. So let me know if you enjoyed this. You know, as many of you probably are just handbag lovers, 
I am as well. So I just enjoy seeing others, uh, people's collections and I enjoy sharing mine as well. Have a great day.